LD World. Begin. Hello, welcome to Albi World. Today I'm with a uh, special guest, Spencer Meek. He's a beast. We'll be uh, working on Spencer Meek's multimedia portfolio, and hopefully you can learn a few things from what we do in here. As you can see, he's got taste. All right. First of all, we'll need to open up um, the portfolio. And we also need Cammy's portfolio. We don't have Cammy's port Put it in that folder. Cammy's portfolio will magically appear shortly. One thing you need to make sure you have on your portfolio is an actions layer for the actions that we're going to put in. So they're all in one place. If you right click, I need to turn on my right click here. Okay, secondary button that What's gives there? us a right click. Okay, so if I right click here, we can s open up our actions and we'll be able to go in and put in some actions. I know for sure I'm going to need to stop uh, in my action frame and we'll go from there. Now, we'll open up Cami's portfolio. That's where we're getting most of our ideas. We're doing a little cut and paste from there so we don't have to reinvent the wheel. Okay. Now you see in Cammy's portfolio she has movie clips that are her buttons and in Spencer's he also has movie clips that are buttons. So Spencer which ones are your buttons? These five things? Yeah. Oh yeah. Which one's gonna be for Photoshop? The jelly. The jelly is for Photoshop. Okay, and so make sure when you have a movie clip that each movie clip has an instance name. You'll see his instance name is called Jelly. And he'll just have to remember that that goes to Photoshop. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go into the Jelly movie clip. And you can see in the breadcrumb trail that we are inside the movie clip. It's got the little gear picture, the corner of the gear. And now we've got our own timeline for animating the jelly, as Spencer would say. And so we're going to put a stop on the first frame so that it's always stopped. So that's the state, the original state when you're on the main level. And we're going to now animate what's going to happen if the mouse moves, it moves on top of the jelly. That will be in the second frame. So we're just going to do something simple. He can do something more difficult later, but for right now, I'm just going to make the jelly grow. And then the jelly will shrink and grow some more. And on the last frame, so whatever you do to animate this, it can do anything, and you can be a lot more creative than just grow and shrink. If you want it to repeat, you say go to and play frame two. So it will go back to frame two and not go back to frame one where it stops. Okay, And you'll see that at the beginning it does exactly what it's supposed to be do, it does nothing because it stopped. So it doesn't actually play those frames yet. So how are we going to get it to a react to the mouse over? We're going to go steal some ideas from Cami's portfolio. So in Cami's portfolio, in the actions frame, we can click on the little A in the frame. That means there's actions in there. Let's open this up so we can see what's going on here. We're going to do some cutting and pasting. These first two lines import the code that Flash needs to be able to make buttons. You only need to put that in once. So we'll copy that over and we'll put that in to, oops, I'm sorry. We've got to make sure we're in scene one and then in the actions. There we go. And now I can paste that in if I get the focus. 
Okay, so we got these two lines in, and now we're going to go get the listeners. So we're going to get these two listeners, the mouse over and the click, and we'll paste those in. And also, I'm going to grab the mouse out. We're just going to do all three of them at once. Copy, paste. Sometimes Flash has a hard time getting the focus in the right place. So we're doing the mouse out. Mouse over, click, and mouse out. Okay. Now the, after you copy and paste, you need to change it from Cammy's um, movie clip name, or instance name, to your instance name. And um, 